Man, it's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you live in the Pink Dungeon. I, right, man, getting into your real raw rugged, and I'm back in this thing with another review. And this is Schoolboy Q, man, uh, Crash Talk. Now, I was a little worried about this album because when I seen the track list, I'm not, I hate when niggas do this, by the way. I hate when niggas, like, look at the track list and be like, oh, this finna be trash. I already know. I ain't even gonna listen to it. Like, you can't do that. That's unfair. But I did look at this track list. I was a little weird. I seen a little baby. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Why is a little baby and Scuba Q in the same room? I don't know what's going on. I was a little worried. But to my uh, surprise, this came out really good, man. So let's get right into it. This album is brought to you by Pizza Hut, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right into it. So uh, first track, Gang Gang. Gang Gang. What do you say? Dope boy. Dope boy. Dope boy. Dope boy. Dope boy, dope boy, hey, dope boy, dope boy, hold on, dope boy, dope boy, hey, hey, this is fire, bro, nice intro, he always come with the good intros, um, one of my favorite intros is definitely Gangsta, so Gang Gang Gangsta, you know, it's from the same, uh, what is that, a prefix, you know what I'm saying, I guess so, of gang, you know, <laughs> with the, uh, with, with the etymology coming from, uh, I don't know, <laughs> hey, I haven't, I used to take Latin, we used to do all that type of stuff, so confusing, man. I don't know if anybody took Latin before, but um, only reason I took Latin because I went to a medical school, and in that medical school, you know, like uh, you have to know Latin prefixes to be a doctor. We well, don't have to, but it would help you if you like trying to do a medicine. You would put, you know, what I'm saying this in front of that because you know the the etymology and the whatever. But hey, shout out to Latin, man. That's all I had to say. But I know gangster is a fire intro with the gangster, 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 gangster. I love that uh, song right there. So gang, gang, it fits right there perfectly. Really good intro and then it goes to tails really smooth transition and it reminds me of hoover street i don't know if anybody remember that song it's one of my favorite schoolboy q songs ever i love storytelling schoolboy q it's a really long song it's like seven minutes it's the oh what do you say uh uh my, my uncle dropped me off and i was in the bar i was in the ball in uh and i get the trap i forget the lyrics off the top of my head but it's a fire song it's produced by alchemist and i remember alchemist couldn't clear the sample in time so he remade the beat right before the album came out but the og came out a long Long time ago i love the og version the beat is so raw it's so nasty i'm i'm talking about i ain't watched my neck in three months type music it's, it's that type stuff but the album version still is gritty and nasty too but the original version is just nasty you, you can tell alchemist in his bag and by the way alchemist needs to be respected i don't hear him ever brought up in the top five producer of all time alchemist is a top five hip-hop producer of all time he stayed relevant for all of these years and honestly i think he's gotten better I think he's a better producer than when he first came out or in the middle of his career. I think he's at his all-time high. So the fact that this man has been producing for how many years and he's even better than he was at his peak. I mean, I feel like he has his peak now. I feel like he's going crazy right now. And that's, that's crazy. A lot of producers, they might fall off. They might try to, you know, stick with the times and they get lost. And people are like, oh, I want the old person. But they're like, no, I'm trying to stick with the times. And they go to that old person. They're like, ah, that's out of date. He has found his groove, and man, Alchemist is amazing. So I just want to put that out there. But this song is a great song, man. Uh, what he said, not a drop of blood in us, but you can't tell we ain't cousins. Fire bar right there. You know, black people always call each other brother, sister, cousin. They don't be goddamn related. No, no type of way. They don't even be step brothers. What are my cousin right here? I was looking at first forty. This shit talking. About, oh yeah, that my. This uh, what she said. This is my cousin right here. Oh, she said that's my brother or whatever. Like, oh all right, find out they ain't even brothers. <laughs> it's like, bitch, you said it was your brother. <laughs> and she she talking to a cop by the way. So you know how black people live. So that was a fire bar right there. He said I seen a nigga get killed in front of his kid. I see a nigga kill in front of his daughter. We just gonna keep the cycle going. You know, uh, shout out to when I made the academics video a long time ago. All the white people in the comments like, why are you defending all these guys in Chicago? They're savages. They're killing each other. And I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> hey, man, you, you niggas don't put stuff in perspective. Like, killing is not a good thing. But when a nigga uh, daughter get killed and then he go kill a nigga that killed his daughter, it's a cycle. You know what I'm saying? Like, or if a nigga kill his, his best friend, you know what I'm saying? You react out of emotion. It's... I'm not going to get that right now, but I'm just saying, damn, that nigga academic has got a lot of ignorant ass like people that follow him. And that's really sad to see. But fire bar. Um, only way we're going to see 30 is if we live in a can. Ah, ah, ow, 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 man. That was that was a hard hitting bar right there, man. Talk that talk that low life expectancy when you a black man living in the hood you know what i'm saying man i like that type of stuff man i need a woman rapper to come and talk that talk you know what i'm saying like you know our life expectancy lower when we in labor i need them type of bars from a woman you know what i'm saying what about black women at man i need i need rap city uh no name to give me some bars like that soon man i need i need to be penetrated through the heart you know not penetrate through the booty you know what i'm saying <laughs> I, need, I need to penetrate the flesh you know i need to hear some stuff like that
that. But nah, Tales is a really, really good song. A lot of good descriptive storytelling. I love storytelling Q. Chopsticks. Now, this is one of the singles that came out that I avoided because I seen so many people say the song was trash, it was terrible, and I was scared to listen to it. So I haven't even seen the live performance. I think he did on Jimmy Fallon or Kimmel, one of those. Can't remember. But never listened to it. The first time I heard it was listed as album. I'm not gonna lie, I like the song a lot. Chopsticks, 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 chopsticks. I swear, I feel like I'm supposed to not like Travis Scott. I feel like Travis Scott is what I'm supposed to be anti version of, but I love it, man. This is a great song right here. I'm not going to lie. It's a catchy song. The hook has been in my head. The, the verses are pretty catchy and cool the way uh, Q is rapping on them. I have no complaints about this song. I like it. Num Num Juice. Now, this was the first single that came out that I heard. And boy, man, this nigga was going crazy. What he said? Two door coupe hopping out like Jack in the Box, nigga. I'm going to shoot if this 30's all that I got, nigga. Time's up. And, hey, that nigga was going crazy on this song, bro. What he say? Time's up. Yeah, I don't mean, I'll forget what the nigga said, but I'm pretty sure when the nigga say Time's up, he wasn't talking about the Me Too movie, man. Goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Only Me Too he was talking about. Oh, you got a gun? Goddamn, Me Too. You hear me, man? Hey, and this third is all that I got, nigga. You feel me, man? That was a fire bar, man. He was going crazy on this song. His voice was, I heard, I look at this on his Breakfast Club interview. And he said he was losing his voice when he made this. I need him to lose his voice way more often because the way he sounded on the hook was crazy, bro. The way he hit the, with the, let's get it. Or not, not the hook, but when he was uh, on the second verse, he was like, let's get it. Woo, bitch, let's get it. Woo. Like he switched his voice like so many times throughout this song. It kind of put me in the mind of um, Break the Bank. That song was crazy. I remember that was like one of my favorite songs by him. It still is. And the way that he sounds vocally different on that song and this song, I love it when he switched up his voice. So yeah, I need more of that from Q, man. I don't want him to force it because he do it all the I don't want him to start doing it all the time and they don't sound good. So when it's naturally there, just go into the booth. When you're having a cold, you know what I'm saying? You need to put a little cough drop in the mouth. Hey, man, go ahead in the booth and, and, and slide, man. So I like that a lot. Very good song. Um, Drunk. Featuring Six Lack Black, whatever the nigga name is. I say this all the time. I've always avoided Black because the only and the first song I heard by him was when he remixed Perky's Calling by Future and he named it X Calling or My X Calling. The most disgusting, terrible song I've ever heard in my life. I can hear my ex calling. I can hear my ex calling. Like, bro, that, I, I really hope Future heard that song and blocked him on Instagram and every other social media so he could not contact that man for a feature. That was the most, oh, bro, I really do hate that remix a lot. On this song, he was cool. He was bearable. Um, but I don't want to get too much into him. This uh, uh, Schoolboy did his thing on here. It's a really weird song. The, 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 the production is like... Is what kind of like uh, got me into the song because it's the I ain't really drunk, I ain't really drunk with the piano in the background. And the way the piano is being played is very like dark. It's a lot of dissonance in the song. And it kind of sounds like something that Nina Simone would sing over. Um, it kind of sounds like some strange fruit, you know what I'm saying? Or just any of her songs because she has a lot of like, her voice is really weird. Her voice has dissonance in it. You know, not, not a lot of people have dissonance in their voice that sing and they sing well. So I think that her over this, you know, I'm saying like if somebody could bring her back alive somehow and she could sing over this like piano I think it'd be amazing it's really really dark and it's really weird so yeah it kind of reminds me of like something that blue would sample you know because blue likes to rap over piano samples sometimes um like the same way he did over uh what song am I thinking about that blue is, is it I think it's a piano amnesia I, that's a really good song it's probably my favorite blue song of all time so yeah it's uh, kind of remind me of, like a blue type beat Nina Simone collab you know I, I like it so yeah shout out to um six like for not ruining this song uh lies featuring Ty Dolla Sign and YG this basically was a YG and Ty Dolla song song I mean song uh Schoolboy did a little bit on this song he did like the first verse that's it then Ty Dolla song came in and then uh I said Ty Dolla song Ty Dolla sign came in then YG went crazy yg was snapping on this song so this is like one of those west coast anthems i can see niggas in the west coast with the top down with their shirt off with some bad women i can see that you know what i'm saying so it's a pretty good it's a pretty good little west coast banger over there 5200 boy now i remember this was like in the teaser for the album this is fire bro with the the the, the boo -doo 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 -doo. Do, 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 do. It kind of sounded like the, the, the Mr. Crab song remember when Mr. Crab was, had his MP3 and he was listening to do, 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 do. <laughs> That's what it kind of sounded like And I could kind of hear Kendrick on this I, I feel like Kendrick would do this song And I could see them like interchanging the song Like I feel like Kendrick maybe had this beat And I could hear Kendrick probably like doing a demo Or like a reference track to this Because it's, it kind of sounded like Trap Kenny You know 
what I'm saying, man? It's always some trap kidney on this. This is fire, man. What he said? I've been counting dead man putting money in a safe. Hey, cat, blink, blink, throw it away. Hey, that song is fire, bro. I love the beat. I love the hook. He was snapping on the verses. That hook, though, man. That nigga said, I've been counting dead man putting bodies in a safe. That was fire, man. I kind of want a video of that. I need a double on time. I need to put like, some money in the safe and some actual bodies in the safe. That's a hard bar. I can see that being like a, a battle rap bar, man. I was down dead, man. Had the body in a safe. Body in a trunk. Had the body with the wraith. Gun know me. I, I can see like a fucking nigga just going crazy with that. So yeah, I like that. Fire song. And then we got a Black Folk. Black Folk is a really interesting song, man. With the wasted, wasted, boom, boom, wasted, wasted, boom, do, 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 do. Fire. I like that. I like the hook a lot. Uh, what he said, he said, uh, the black mind is where it started because we was the ones who was chosen. Hey man, talk that original man stuff. I'm all here for it. Hey, I take my glasses off for that. You know what I'm saying? Talk that the black man is the original man. You know what I'm saying? And he was talking about how we came over here off the boat and we lost motivation because you know they, they 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 beat the motivation out of us and taught other stuff. Like, I like that. You know what I'm saying? So this is a pretty cool song, man. He was talking that spay lingo. You feel me? So I like that, man. Any song where a nigga said a black man is the original man, hey man, that's a, that's a song for me. You hear? So yeah, I like that a lot. And then we go to floating. Now, for floating, I have to bring up my phone because 21 Savage went stupid on this song, man. Uh, very, very, very fire song. 21 Savage was going crazy. Schoolboy went crazy. But, man, this nigga, 21 Savage, he kind of low-key stole the show, man. This nigga was going retarded on this song. So, let me pull up the bars real quick, man. That nigga, 21 Savage, just came in. Just He just came in floating. I'm a Percocet floating. Hey, I told him, big, blunt, smoking, that nigga. <laughs> In a made bat joking, driving raw like it's stolen. He a broke for a focus ass nigga. <laughs> Say he a broke Ford Focus ass nigga. What do you say? Pay me for it. Pay me for it. Show I got a chopper. Twenty one. All this metal they gonna call the coppers. <laughs> he was going crazy. But he had one bar that threw me off. What he said? He said some shit like if a if a free coach try to kiss me in the mouth or a punch in the face. <laughs> and that's crazy, bro. Hey, imagine a free coach trying to punch. I mean, trying to kiss you in the mouth. Bitch. <laughs> A nigga hit it with the guy. He hit it with the with the Canelo. You feel me? Well, I nigga been watching too much Gigi and Canelo fights. Well, that nigga say, "Hey, Canelo fighting this weekend. I gotta goddamn get a, a boxing bar there, man." That was crazy. Shout out to Ampavelli on Twitter, man. That nigga said, uh, he said they gonna send, he sent that black ass nigga back to Scotland after that one. <laughs> and they were like, hey, you a nigga, and you punch bitches, and you just the table. I say, in Scotland, here you come, man. Ain't finna send that black ass nigga back to Roddy Roddy Piper uh, hometown, man. Crazy Bardo, fire song, one of my favorites on there. And then it transitions to Dangerous featuring Cuddy. Now, this is really good. This is why I love uh, Schoolboy Q, because he's not afraid to take risk. And this is a, kind of like a risky song to be on, I could feel like, because the way that it sounds, it's like a Kid Cudi song, basically. You know what I'm saying? The way the atmosphere, I mean, the atmosphere of the song is basically like a Kid Cudi uh, type song. And the way he sounded so regular on it, like he didn't sound like he was out of place. I kind of want to hear more Cudi over this. Like, I kind of wish this was a Cudi song featuring Schoolboy, because I want to hear what Cudi would have did with his by himself. But either way, a very, very good song. I love the way Way they did uh, i love the way they um collaborate over uh, it's pretty good um and then we're gonna die with him this is just like some 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 gangster shit you know what i'm saying he was basically saying i hope you ready to die with them niggas you roll with it's basically what he's saying throughout the whole song not too much to say about that um fire song a fire song you know i'm always in for gangster schoolboy q when schoolboy q getting this gritty gangster bag i feel like he's at his best when he's you know what i'm saying mass down robbing niggas when he on that hey that's i feel like he undefeated with that so fire song and then we go to possibly my favorite song going here crash um crash is so good it samples a classic song i'm not I'm gonna say with a sample like hey if you're a real nigga you know the sample don't don't go to who sample or this sample.com or whatever that website called don't go to that if you know what song this sample man you a real nigga i want you to comment the song in this sample man if you're a real nigga you know what i'm talking about man that's that what he say he say it ain't no google the lyrics i'm finna say either man i want if you know it you know man but don't google nothing man if you know about that what he say he say oh <laughs> what, 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 what he say he say uh um uh i he say ah fuck i forgot the lyrics myself <laughs> Hey man, what do you see? He said, he said, my saliva could split thread in the fiber and bits. Trust me, homie, I'm as live as it gets. 
fire, man. What do you say if you hear that tick, tick, then you testing? Man, that's fave. Hey, niggas know what that is. You know what it is, man. So, yeah, one of my favorite songs by that person of all time is a very old song. So, yeah, shout out to that guy. And if you realize, if you listen to it really closely, he samples Mac Miller throughout the song. Or right, our Mac Miller does the ad libs throughout the song. Um, when, when, when he does the daughter needs some shoes, our daughter needs some shoes, gotta find my way. And you hear uh, Mac, he'd be like, my way. Or he'd be like, some shoes. Or he'd be like, gotta get some M, some M's. You hear him in the background singing it. So that's crazy. I don't know if anybody picked up on that. I found about that on KTT. So yeah, uh, listen to that. That's a really, really good song. And Mac Miller in the background, you know, that's touching right there, man. Rest in peace, Mac. I'm gonna cop this Rest in Peace Mac shirt from my homeboy. I gotta rock down the channel. So yeah. Um, good stuff right there, man. Really, really good song. Uh, yeah, but if you, if you know that sample, you a real nigga, man. I, I can't believe I forgot the song off the top of my head. What, what do you say? Oh, he say he say uh, he say uh, I'm 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 a, I'm a verbal smith. He said I'm a verbal quick smith and Wesson. I unload with quick spit. The I unload with six spit. The quick wit will split a split second. I unload with six spit. The best and when you heard a tick tick, who you testing? My my saliva is spit can split thread the fiber and bit. So trust me, homie, I'm as live as it gets. Ooh, ooh, Hey, that nigga was sliding on that one, man. But Schoolboy, um, his song, <laughs> I'm thinking about OG, but his song, fire. I love the song. I love the way they slowed down the sample. I love the way he was rapping on it. He was singing, collab, like he was singing and rapping on it. Fire stuff, man. Um, and then we go to uh, 13, uh, Water with Little Baby. By the way, some stuff he was saying on there was crazy, that crash song. I didn't even get into it when he was talking about, I go to the golf course, get a peace of mind. Uh, I know my, my family want a peace of mind. They pieced up, so I show them where this peace reside. That's crazy. The fact you got to show your family where to, you know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta flash the biscuit to your family just because they, you know, that's crazy, bro. That's really wild, you know? Uh, what do you say? Be happy about your black skin and your hair and your hair nap because the school system ain't going to teach that. Fire. Um, always, you know, I'm always for that black stuff, man. And then we go to Water featuring Lil Baby. Lil Baby went crazy on here, bro. What did that nigga say? He said, how the fuck did Baddie get crossed the border? <laughs> he said some crazy shit. Basically, like, he was, I guess he was getting crossed the border. And he seen a bad girl across the border. I don't know if he think, like, just only ugly women get allowed to cross the board. He was like, "This, you bad? Ain't you cross the board? Hold on, what is going? What in the ice is going on? That he was very confused that a bad woman can get across the board. I don't know what was going on, but fire, fire track. And then we go to lastly, um, attention. A very, very good track. This is basically, like I said, um, storytelling schoolboy Q. And I love storytelling schoolboy Q. He said he quit sports to become a crip. That's crazy. Um, yeah, really, really good song. Really good outro. And I like the album. I'm sorry that I spent most of this uh, review trying to figure out the lyrics to the the sample of Crash, but I got it. So hey, I'm not gonna edit that out either because you know I don't feel like it. But um, yeah. Until next time, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate, and ooh, ooh players gonna play high at your boy now man